Hey guys, it's the Friction here, or Tiger Tank One Two, however you want to call me. I don't really care. And first of all, I want to wish you guys a happy new year, and uh, I hope you guys get all your dreams fulfilled that you are uh, trying to get or to fulfill in 2016, and um, that you're all healthy. And yeah. <laughs> uh, I myself, I don't have any wishes for 2016, uh, I don't have any concrete plans, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed your uh, winter vacations and Christmas, I hope you had a great time, and now it's time to get back into the daily life, in my opinion, on my side, side at least, and um, why not start the year with a great game in the T1 1023, and Pretty much, you couldn't have asked for a better game than this one right here, as you can see right here. Both teams, only four tier 10 tanks and no artillery. This is the perfect matchup for my tank right here, and you'll see me doing some serious work. I haven't uploaded any awesome or great gameplay in a very, very long time, which actually my channel was founded on back in the days. I, I almost always only uploaded like great gameplays. Now I now, now I, I rant more about stuff and still this video here is uh, still one of my World Tanks videos because you will have a, a little rant in here and a, a little, yeah, a little bit of uh, critique to World Tanks and you will see why. So yeah, we're playing the T1 1083 with a nice camo. Uh, if you have noticed, no, you probably haven't noticed because I haven't made any videos, but I have decided to buy some camos for my tanks. Of course, credits with credits, I didn't buy any with uh, gold. I'm not that rich. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've de decided to get some camos on my tier 10 tanks at least. And you can see that I have a very nice camo on my E3. And I haven't played my E3 in... So Oh, excuse me. In such a long time, I love this vehicle. It is super strong, and that is one of the points that I want to talk about today. Tank destroyers and World of Tanks. I think this is the perfect video which can really give you a, a sense of kind of uh, of these beasts that are just too strong <laughs> somehow. Um, this T1 1023 now with the armor patch, which which was released a few months back down the road has become one of the strongest tank destroyers or one of the strongest tanks in the game because nothing can penetrate its lower plate or pretty much only a very small amount of tanks can penetrate its lower plate and you can see that WZ at tier 10 no excuse me tier 9 Chinese heavy tank did not manage to penetrate my lower plate and if there is no artillery as in this game you can see that I can do some serious work and I can go really ham with this tank and that's exactly what I'm doing so yeah to get a little bit back into the gameplay we're playing on cliff this is one of my more liked maps not my, my favorite map but it's it's a lot better than some other maps uh, <coughs> Malinovka hate that map so. but I need a Malinovka now for my for my light tank missions actually so yeah I've been I've been trying to do all of my missions now. I'm trying to get the T28 HTC, and I've been swamped with tanks. I've been playing a lot of tanks, and I'm trying to make some videos for you guys before school starts again, and I don't have any more time. And I want to use my time very efficiently now. Ah, uh, my God, yeah. New Year's resolution. Uh, forget that. <laughs> I'm not gonna start with that. But you can see we're doing some serious work. Have just track this E100 and we have already done 3668 damage with 2000 damage, about 2000 damage blocked. And this is really the strong point of this vehicle. If nobody's shooting heat, like high explosive anti tank ammo or, you know, premium rounds, or if no artillery is shooting at you, or if nobody's flanking you, you can really go hand with this tank. Nothing can penetrate you. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, kind of. Because you, you'll see that I'm playing this tank like a heavy tank. I'm charging in. I'm not the, the type of the type of player that likes to sit back and wait for the combat to come to you. I'm the guy. I'm the guy who goes into the combat and is trying to win 
every firefight and that's kind of my problem as well because sometimes there are just times when you need to be patient and I can't do that because I'm really aggressive player it's my aggressive playstyle that doesn't always fit to each uh, uh, each one of the maps so that's why I sometimes really get really devastating games where I just get really wrecked <laughs> especially my tank destroyers but this is one of the things now Tank destroyers either have amazing armor like the T-1083 or the Jack Panzer E-100 or they have no armor or almost no armor like the Waffentrager line and thus and thus pretty much that leads to a lot of camping tank destroyers sitting back way back somewhere at the end of the world sniping all over the map with their perfect accurate gun beams of death and they just hit anything and that is one of the problems I have with tank destroyers they're kind of too versatile now either you have tank destroyers that are super good armor the E3 is like a really good all-rounder and there's like almost no uh, no counter for, for these vehicles I mean this vehicle right here can be countered by being flanked or by being shot by artillery all you have to go back to shooting gold ammunition and gold ammo here is not always a guaranteed pen if you don't shoot the weak spots and if you shoot the weak spots there's a possibility of you still bouncing while you have to take into account that I could still fire back at you while you're shooting at me so I'm not saying that tank destroyers should completely be changed but some of the tank destroyers are kind of too overpowered in my opinion there are tank destroyers that can one shot you speaking of which there are two on the enemy team, the FV215B183 even has gotten an armor buff and you can see right here I'm bouncing off that vehicle. I used to pen that spot right there with this gun easily. But these vehicles have gotten a massive buff and they allow players to get, you know, amazing shots, amazing opportunities where it is very unfair to certain other players in other kind of vehicle types and this is the reason why so many people are starting to play tank destroyers because you can do massive amounts of damage in a very short period of time with the least uh, backdrop if you're playing it correctly like if you just if you just stick to some very certain and easy rules like sitting back and not pushing that is one of the problems I have with tank destroyers. Tank destroyer players are either too too passive or they're too aggressive. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just that I'm not really happy with the tank destroyers in the game right now. How they are balanced. They they kind of they they kind of make up a big big amount of the of the, uh, of the tanks and games now, uh, which were used which used to be dominated by heavy tanks because of well the armor on the heavy tanks used to be better than on the uh, the tank destroyers but since of the since the armor patch um, things have gotten really twisted around all this stuff so yeah some heavy tanks get the drawback some medium tanks get the drawback and that kind of leads to certain tanks being completely ignored and certain lines being completely left out nobody's playing the Chinese tier uh, the Chinese heavy line the higher tier ones nobody's playing the uh, the 113 it's because it just it just doesn't really work and that is one of the, my critique points right here tank destroyers and other tanks have gotten so powerful that they have gotten very popular in the player base and the problem is that these tanks kind of are too easy to play from time to time in my opinion they're very easy to learn and very easy to adapt because tank destroyers like any other other tanks or tank types if you know one tank destroyer most of the time you know the other tank destroyer as well some uh, exclusions like the Waffen trigger of E100 um, that thing definitely um, is very different from let's say the Jack Panzer E100 but still in my opinion um, it's it's quite it, it, it is it is quite annoying. I, I do not like to play my tank destroyers anymore because they are too powerful. And you can see this game, 8000 damage, uh, 3 kills, even though the batch had got 8 kills. Uh, I managed to get 8000 damage and I got the mastery badge first class. 
that shows you what kind of games people pull out of this vehicle. It is really hard to get the Ace Tanker, but fortunately for me, I already got the Ace Tanker way back since I have this tank for a long time. And yeah, I, I love playing my, my uh, tank destroyers, don't get me wrong, but I just cannot stomach playing my tank destroyers because they are really, really powerful. Uh, pretty much all the tank destroyers I play are really, really OP. And uh, yeah, I, I would really like to know your opinion on the matter because yeah, I... Am I am I in the wrong with tank destroyers? Are are they not OP at all? Is it just that people get better in the, at the game, or is it just that that I get a, have a complete wrong view at the things? So yeah, I'll be waiting waiting for your replies, and I'll be making another video as soon as possible. So peace out.